how often is it that we create a PowerPoint presentation and we try to present it in this format. I wish to present here the climate change that is happening and this is the talk of the town. We are responsible for some of the climate change. We are felling a lot of trees and with this felling of trees, we are facing rising temperatures and with the rising temperatures, we are seeing the ice melting. So, we are moving towards this. So, this is a very simple presentation, not very attractive. But I would like to show you a better method in which you can make this whole presentation and which will look like a jigsaw puzzle. This is what we, it should look like. So this is the first picture where we talk about felling of the trees. This is the second picture which tells us about the rising temperatures. This is the third picture which tells us that we are facing the problem of ice melting. And this is the fourth picture which talks about the earth that we are going to face. How to create a picture like this is what we are going to learn today in our YouTube. I have created this picture and now we want to create a jigsaw puzzle out of this. Let's start. So for this first we will go to insert and we will go to shape and we can select the rectangle and we will, can draw this rectangle over here so this is our first picture we are drawing the rectangle on top of that picture but we don't want to present a rectangle we want to present a jigsaw puzzle so for that what we will do we will draw another shape so we will say insert we'll go to shape and we will select the circle and we will press the shift key on the keyboard and click and drag so we get a circle. The circle overlaps part of the rectangle. We will just copy paste this circle and we will put it on the other side where we want another shape to make it look like a jigsaw. We need these three shapes over and over again for the next three pictures. So what we will do is we will press the shift key on the keyboard and select all three of them. And copy it and paste it so that we have another copy of this. We shall try creating the jigsaw piece. So for that we will select this. I want this to be in this shape that is I want this part of the rectangle to be cut out. So for that I will select the rectangle and I will select the circle and I will go to shape format and in shape format I have an option here subtract so this will create the dent in the rectangle for me so i'll click on this i have created the dent and here i want this to extend out so for this i'll keep this rectangle selected press the shift key and select the circle again go back to shape format select union we have created our shape we'll create the second shape to create the second shape select these shapes move them here so you want this to fit like a jigsaw puzzle so click it here and move this circle to this portion where you want it now to come out and you want this portion to be subtracted select the rectangle again we'll select the circle and we will go to shape format and in shape format we will say union again we will select this rectangle press the shift key and select the circle in shape format select subtract we have created two pieces of the uh, jigsaw now we will create the third piece
so we have created the jigsaw pieces now what we need to do is we need to place the pictures on these jigsaw pieces move the jigsaw pieces a little see the picture and make copy of the picture control c and we will place this rectangle back over here we will move one of the jigsaw pieces away we'll select the picture and we will select jigsaw piece and we'll go to shape format and here we will say intersect so we get the picture cut like this paste another picture so control v to paste the picture and we will send it backward go to picture format and we will say send to back and we'll place this jigsaw piece now here and move one of the jigsaw pieces away select the shape then select the picture go to shape format and say intersect so you have the second jigsaw piece ready now for the third jigsaw piece So we have all the jigsaw pieces ready now and if we are giving an animation for this we can go for animate like the first one say fly in so i don't want it to come from down i want it to come from left hand side i'll go to effect options and say from left select this piece of the jigsaw and i will again say fly in so i don't want it to come from bottom i want it to come from the top so i will select from top select this jigsaw piece and we will say fly in this is okay as it is so we will leave it like this and then we will select the last piece of the jigsaw and we will say fly in our powerpoint is ready with the picture and the animation so now we can see how we can present it the first picture regarding the felling of trees can be introduced to the audience and the gap talks that there is something that is going to be introduced so we can introduce the soaring temperatures that are caused by the felling of trees then we can talk about the disc, uh, decreasing ice in the arctic and the antarctic regions and where our earth is leading us to in this beautiful manner we can present our powerpoint so this beautiful powerpoint presentation will take you a long way in presenting in front of others and keep your audience glued i'm sure you like this if you have any comments regarding this powerpoint presentation or anything you want to know regarding powerpoint or excel please get in touch with us we'll be happy to help you bye see you next time